hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing, and welcome back to channel. I'm Bushka, and it's great to have you with me here today. I hope you're uh, as fit and happy as I am. Any fitter, as they say in the classics, I'd be a danger to shipping, which I only think really applies if you're like a water polo player or something. But there you go. Here we are. We're, we're going to talk about holding my beer. Now, I don't drink myself, but if I did, and I had a beer, and I had to go to the bar, these are the two blokes who I would ask to hold it. This is Final Dreadnought and Casu. Now, the first game is a perfect representation of the way to play a French light tank, particularly the AMX 1390, the tier 8 French light, which is not renowned for being a, a broken OP kind of light tank. And the second game is probably the best game you're ever going to see in an FV4005, possibly the best game of Blitz you're ever going to see, because it really is a game that only happens due to some crazy, crazy uh, confluence of events. And we're going to stick around for that one. The second game is amazing. You might have already seen it if you are a subscriber on Rolling Swarm's channel. Uh, my good mate B, uh, I hope you are a subscriber over there. If you're not, you should be. He's a fantastic caster and one of the real gentlemen of the Blitz community. Um, anyway, onwards and upwards. Let's talk about this good amigo here, Final Dreadnought. Uh, this is the absolutely typical way of farming damage and if you're not going to this corner and you're a water tank splits player then give yourself a massive uppercut because you should be this is where you go if you want to just farm up the numbers uh the far flank of port bay this is the most important tactical spot on the map uh because basically anytime your team goes to this area here if you don't own this corner this is exactly what's going to happen to you some red hot raver in a, a little tank like a medium or a light is going to sit over here and peck away at you and give you that death by a thousand cuts feeling now that would be a good replay in and of itself, just if it educated the masses as to where to go. But it's not. It's not. There's so much more chicken left. <laughs> so much more chicken left on this bone. Uh, great shot there. Lovely max roll. Uh, pump, pump. And now we're into the big dog up the top, the Canava. Now, this is a bit of a worry because this is, I mean, great bounce. Um, don't get me wrong. That's a crazy good... <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, that's a crazy good bounce. And he's about to get another one. And I, I don't think you can rely on those kind of things, but still, it's nice to get him. And then he's going to clip out on the Carnarvon. Great stuff. Now, this is a tough tank for lights and mediums to deal with. The big problem you have when you're going up against Carnarvons is they do actually have very good DPM for a tier 8 heavy tank. They've got very good pen. Uh, and they're mobile enough to track you pretty comfortably. It's one of the rare... Uh, people don't realize how good the Carnarvon is, especially against certain vehicles. Like, if you catch uh, Russian heavies and things in the open, the Carnarvon can really deal a whole lot of pain and heartache. Now, luckily for our amigo, the CDC pumped along the Liberty and uh, gave him a hand to finish off the rest of the meal there. He was, uh, he was definitely biting off a fair bit there. And those two bounces, crazy clutch. Like, crazy clutch. But he makes the most of it. Um... There's nothing worse in Blitz than watching tanks get fantastic opportunities and then blow them. But our Amigo Final Dreadnought is not waiting for the paint to dry. He's pumping around the back and he's going to take a good hard look at the Boom Sig. Uh, there's the Boom Sig, switches to HE. He knows what's up. And unfortunately, as so often happens on German tanks, the second one just gets a little bit of module damage, so he doesn't roll out full. Uh, but nice work, clips out, pulls back, thinks about life love the pursuit of happiness and slowly digest what's going down with the game right now now things have tightened up considerably those two tanks that are left there are actually a very very good combo the 101p is renowned for its tough disposition and its ability to tank a whole lot of damage and the borsig can obviously one shot both the remaining vehicles on the map now this is a, a slightly perplexing situation you don't i mean they're ahead the red team are ahead on cap points. Uh, the greens have to get the kills. And there is so much hit point left on that bone. Look at it. Look at it. And that CDC has been found right up against it. Now, a couple clips, a couple in there in the clip got through. That's great. The CDC gets out of there. Good move. But he's kind of pinned, kind of stuck, trying to get across without taking another shot. All well and good. And our amigo is just slowly tap, tap, tapping away. Uh... 
getting through the hit point pool of the red guys. Nice and solid effort too here. He's relocated twice now. And this is the second time he's got around to the back corner. Big decision here. Does he go for the C cap? If he gets in the C cap, they're going to know where he is. And it might not actually uh, allow him to cap out before they come around. But they were actually down on the flat, going back towards the B. And there they are. There's the Borsig. Just takes it easy this time. Two AP rounds, misses the back end. Very worried about that 101P who is in the cap circle. God, that was a big bounce. I mean, something that defines these games at times is just the, the crazy RNG that is required to get across the line. I mean, those are very, very clutch shots as well. The Borsig is vanished. I don't know why he is not ducking out here and doing something. He's just taking the easy road. Looks like an easy win. Something big is going to have to have uh, happen here for... You know, the, oh, that was not the right kind of big. In fact, that was the wrong kind of big. But there we go. We get rid of the big dog, the Borsig. Two shots left in the clip. This is going to go absolutely down to the wire. Another one. He can't fit through. He needs a bounce. He needs something. Get away from the gun. This is it. Now Ford, 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 Ford under the gun again. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. So, we had a defeat, but 5.3k damage in an AMX 1390 in a tier 10 game, a tier 9 game, is pretty freaking awesome, right? You agree? So, we got a defeat in the last match. Heartbreaking, heartbreaking, but stick around for the next match because, uh, yeah. This next one is going to go off like a frog in a sock. Now, as I mentioned before, this is quite possibly my favorite game ever for Water Tank Splits. And there's a big reason for that. Um, the reason is I've seen lots of high damage games. This isn't just about a high damage game. This is about... I'm going to point some things out to you as this goes through. And our Amigo in the FV4005 here, he does a great job. He plays this. Everything that's given to him, he absolutely rams home all the way to the hilt. Uh, there is not a trick missed in terms of happenstance. But still, the monumental amount of damage that is about to be outputted onto your screen and the incredible, incredible numbers you are going to see uh, even for someone like me that is as old and jaded with Blitz uh, and has seen it all, these are still, <laughs> these are not rookie numbers. So the FE44005 has a couple of things going for it. Firstly, it's an auto loader that has a specific set of consumables that you don't get on most tanks. Well, really, the British TD line is the only one that really gets this stuff. Uh, it's got an incredible engine boost, and it's got a uh, an actual adrenaline for autoloaders. Uh, you can see there on the right-hand side of the screen. Now, that allows it to do some pretty incredible things. Those kind of things that we're talking about are all based around mobility and damage. Uh, the tank has no armor profile, to so to speak. It's called the poop barn for a reason. It's big as a house, it's big as a barn, and there is nothing stopping the bad guys from penetrating what you got going on, uh, apart from being potatoes and bad at aiming. There is, there is so much to shoot at and so little to stop the round from going through that this is quite literally the prototypical glass cannon. Now, it's also got a very accurate gun, not that you would have thought it from uh, that shot there, but that is going to come to the fore here as we progress. God knows where that went. But anyway, moving right along. Things are not going that spectacularly right about now. There's mediocre returns on investment thus far. But a couple of clips, we're into the, into the 1,000 damage mark. We're looking solid. Still plenty of tanks left. And... The 4005 is perfect at this situation here. No medium wants to deal with a tier 10 TD that has the ability to output nearly 1400 freaking damage anytime. Uh, on t look at that. Bang, bang. Done. Done. Absolutely done like a dinner. And the perfect use of that mobility and that really lovely burst firepower. 
now the numbers are staggering. 460 alpha is your baseline. You can do three of those, so you're looking at 1,380 damage when you land a full clip. But as you're going to see, if you're talking about hitting things like waffle tractors, you can do a lot more damage. Now he's frontlining this thing as well, which is one of the reasons why I, I really believe that this game is superb. There, there is so many uh, occasions where you'll get a TD game, like a grill game. Uh, I, for instance, when I did the shoulder or walking damage competition, uh, Anush won it. Um, he was the grill that sat on the back of Canal Spawn, and I think he did 10k damage. But this is a game that is being played super aggressively, like right on the front line. Uh, and for that, he should absolutely be applauded. He's playing this one with a lot of vim, vigor. Oh, big miss. Takes one, and he knows now he's got an opportunity to put another one in the back. Puts a, a speculator down on the convoy. Convoy, 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 convoy. Uh, but things looking grim. Two left for the good guys. Uh, Freaking six left for the bad guys. And those, those are absolutely not good numbers. Watch this. He just ammo racked. He ammo racked that waffle tractor. So as he turns around, the waffle is still not reloaded. That is incredible. Hey, that is absolutely incredible. And then the Leopard 1, he's on a full clip reload with no hit points left. And the Leopard 1 is tunneling so hard down there that he doesn't even realize that the FV4005 is available for action just above him. That's the ball game right there. What an incredible turnaround. Those, the ammo, the ammo rack damage on the waffle, the clearing of two tanks in one clip, and then the Leopard 1 getting cleared without so much as even looking at our protagonist here. Crazy, crazy RNG. But that's what's, uh, that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. So he has four kills. There are three tanks left. He is going to have to have the game of his life, or she, I'm not sure who this is, to actually get this thing across the line. And we don't know if that's going to happen, but we're going to find out. So here we go. Pushing on up through the middle, still being hyper aggressive. Last tank left. So it's going to be a Kolobanov if it happens at all. One in. Oh, there's it's the two tanks left. We've not seen hide nor hair of this IS-8. And then bang. We don't know if that hit. We just... We just Hoping it hit. Massive, massive damage numbers on the board already. That Conway's coming across, but look at the pump and the jump. There's that consumable we were talking about earlier. Pumping, pumping, pumping. Getting away, getting away, getting away with it. All messed up, as James would say. Now, the Conway is pushing up here. That is a lot of hit points to get through. Unlucky for some. Conway misses. Big numbers, big numbers, big numbers, big numbers. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. One shot. One shot, Conway. Where is the IS-8? Uh, we would desperately like to know where the IS-8 is because we've got five kills and we're going to <laughs> need to do over 9,000 damage to get this job done. So if the IS-8 is the IS-8 AFK, you ask. No, the IS-8 is definitely not AFK. This is clutch. There's the IS-8. IS-8 has just popped on the map. He's got no good decisions left to make. Everything has to happen now and it has to happen fast. He's got to clear the Conway. Whoa, overmatched the side straight through into the soft underbelly. And suddenly, we are one full hit point tier 9 heavy away from immortality. Player! Oh, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. This is great play too. Now remember, if you have been paying attention, he can output nearly 1,400 damage in one clip. And he's got a wonderful chance here. If he can just track the IS-8, track him. He's hit him once. Twice, the IS-8's tracked. He's going to eat the full clip. Oh, my God. He's a one-shot. It's all down to this. The game of the century. FV4005 versus the world. Six kills. Kolobanovsky. Nine and a half K damage. Is it going to happen? Ooh, bam goes a dynamite. Hope you enjoyed that one, boys and girls. That was amazing. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to click the links below. Join the Instagram channel, the Facebook, everything else. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Bye for now. Stay safe on the battlefield. Eat your veggies. Walk the dog and be nice to your mum.